In previous examples, we've seen how we can use modeling of functions to predict the future. Uh, it can go the other way around as, as well. If we have an accurate model, we can try to predict what happens in the past, uh, whether it's like a historical thing, anthropological thing, maybe like a, a crime forensic type thing. We can predict what happened based upon our mathematical models. So predictions are a useful tool, uh, a useful application of these story problems and functions here. But sometimes um, it's not about prediction. Sometimes we have choices in front of us. We have one choice versus another. And we can use function modeling to actually decide what is the better choice. So case in point, take Jamal here, who's choosing between two truck rental companies. He's got he's to move from his old apartment to a new apartment. And so he's got some stuff. He's got to rent a truck uh, and to move his things from his one apartment to another. And so his local town has sort of two competing uh, renters, rent, truck rental companies he could use. The first one called Keep On Trucking Incorporated. Um, and it charges... The, the use of the truck, it's not on a time frame. It's mostly just on usage, right? And so they would charge Jamal, first of all, a $20 fee. So however much he uses that day, it doesn't matter. He'll be charged a $20 fee, rental fee. And then he'll also be charged 59 cents per mile. Uh, and that's not incorporating the gas that he has to put in there. This is just the usage. He'll be charged by mileage and will be charged just for, for signing uh, the rental agreement. Uh, the competitors to keep on trucking is move it your way. Um, they also charge an upfront fee of $16, but they charge 63 cents per mile. So we can already see right there a sort of a competition there. Keep on trucking has a higher upfront fee, but it has lower mileage. Um, move it your way is the opposite. It has a smaller upfront fee, and it has uh, it, and it's going to be uh, 63 cents per mile. So it's a little bit more expensive. So there are some advantages and cons to the two different companies. There's not an obvious choice that's better for Jamal. We need some more information. So what we know is that Jamal has to, he has to uh, drive 50 miles with the truck. So he's, he's calculated what would be the distance to drive the truck from the rental company to the, to the old apartment, drive it to the new apartment and then drive it back to the rental company. That turns out to be 50 miles. Now that might seem a little bit weird because next to each other. Well, look, just for the sake of example, we'll say that. So Jamal would have to travel 50 miles in the truck. And so who's the better option if he has to drive 50 miles? Well, if we want to do the first the first uh, moving company here, the first rental here, keep, it, uh, keep on trucking right here, what's the cost function associated to keep on trucking? Well, from the information we're given here, if we say that f of x is the cost function associated to renting a, a truck from keep on trucking, well, then they're going to charge you 59 cents per mile. Let's let X equal the number of miles that Jamal has to drive here. 59, 59 cents per mile, and there's a flat fee of 20 miles. This would tell us that F of X is going to equal 59 cents times X plus 20. So notice here that X is going to be miles. The slope, the, the rate, 0.59 here, is going to be cost per mile. So when you take miles times cost per mile, you get cost, add that to cost. This is going to be the, this will be the cost function for keep on trucking. We're just going to call it keep here. And then conversely, if we want to do move it your way, their cost function would look like the following. You're being charged 63 cents per mile plus 16 miles. And so move it your way has this cost function. We know that Jamal has to drive 50 miles like so. So he's going to calculate these costs here. If he looks at f of 50, this would be 0.59 times 50 plus 20 here. And you could do all of, I mean, all this arithmetic, we could put pen and paper right here. But, you know, don't be a hero. You can use your calculator to help you out here. 59 cents per mile times 50 miles. That would be $29.50. Add that to the flat fee of $20. He would expect to pay uh, $49.50 if he went with keep on trucking. On the other hand, if he does G of 50, this is going to be 63 cents times 50 plus $16. 63 cents per mile times also will be $31.50. Add the flat fee of $16. That turns out to be $47.50. So assuming the two companies are created equal except for their cost 
functions right, you know, assuming like uh, the quality of the equipment, uh, the reputation, the brands are all the same. It looks like Jamal would save a little bit of money, not a lot, but he would save $2 by working with Move It Your Way instead. And so there is, so it would seem like that's the better choice for, for him. He should be using the second company um, or way. It's pretty tight though, right? Um, it wouldn't, I mean, $2 is not a huge differential, but that does seem to be the winner in this situation. All things created equal, I would choose the, the, the cheaper option there, uh, which would be move it your way. But we can see it's pretty close. Um, and so another thing to ask here is at what point does the first rental company keep on trucking actually offer a, when does the first company offer a better deal? So basically what we're asking is the following, right? We want to solve we need to solve the inequality f of x is less than g of x, right? So this, this sort of, we could do it the other way around as well, right? You know, when is f of x greater than g of x? It doesn't make much of a difference. But we, we have to compare the inequalities going on right here. And so when you have, when you have an inequality, 0.59x plus 20 is less than 0.63x plus 16 here, right? Uh, we want to solve this inequality. And like I've mentioned before, when you solve an inequality, you basically want to start off by solving the equation, right? We're basically trying to figure out geometrically, where do these two lines intersect each other? And so if we think about the, the graphs of these functions right here, one of the functions is going to look like this. It has a B, but a smaller slope. And then the other one has a smaller initial fee, but it has has a higher slope. At some point, these things are going to intersect themselves where one is going to be bigger than the other, right? And so that's this point of intersection is going to be interest to us. That comes down to solving the equation. So we're going to take 0.63x minus 0.59x, and this is going to equal 20 minus 16. If you start solving this linear equation, uh, the right-hand side is pretty easy. That should be a 4. Or 69 cent, 63 cents, excuse me, takes so it's going to be 4 cents times x. So divide by, by both sides, you're going to get that x here, x is equal to 100. So if you drive more than 100 miles, so 100 miles is the point match right there. At 100 miles, the two companies will cost the exact same in terms of renting. And so that's going to be the tipping point. We've seen already, we already did a test point here. Here. We saw already that when you're less than 100 miles, uh, move it your way is the superior one. I think I have my colors backwards right now. Uh, so the, the the cheap, no, no, this is right. So move it your way was green and it's cheaper as long as you're less than 100. But when you get past 100 miles, keep on trucking is going to be the cheaper option here. And so therefore, if, you, if Jamal was moving less than 100 miles, he should use move it your way. If he's moving more than 100 miles, he should do keep on feel. And that's how he can make his decision is if, he, if he turned out like, oh yeah, yeah, I only did one way. I'm gonna have to do multiple trips. Like maybe he has to drive, he has a lot of stuff. Uh, maybe he has to, and it's a small truck, right? He might have to drive between the apartments two or three times. And that actually might add up the mileage. And so he might find out, oh, I actually am gonna have to draw like, 120 miles to do, make this move. In which case then uh, keep on trucking could be the better option. And we see that the function modeling is done effectively. It helps us answer these questions. By having specific, uh, specific functions, it helps us understand what's going on here. Linear functions are simple enough that we might not actually need to come up with algebraic formulas, algebraic equations, algebraic inequalities to answer these questions. But be aware, the goal is to be good at algebra so that when we do get to situations which are not easy, then we can still use the techniques we've practiced with linear functions in that setting as well.